Okay, hi everybody. So this is how to draw the reflection of a simple wall. Here I'm just doubling it back into space across the mirror plane. Um, and then if you have a second Delilah and you imagine doing the same thing, you know it's going to be going along those lines. Now this is the tricky part right here is you can actually draw the second Delilah without doubling it back just by getting a symmetrical angle off the mirror plane and that gives you the basic wall now you could draw the light source like I just did there you know but you could uh, using the vanishing point but you can also use the reference point um, to find the radiation point you're going through the center the corner of the room and that's giving you that angle now you cast the shadows normally just imagine the mirror plane isn't there so you can see I'm drawing all the radiation lines uh, by the way, this is sped up about 400%, so, you know, it makes it a little less boring to watch, hopefully. Um, now, you you would cast, as I said, you cast the shadows normally. So those two lines that I just drew, they give you that basic first shadow. And you can see that it goes into the mirror plane as if the mirror plane doesn't exist. Now, we're going to do the other side of it as well in a minute, but... Uh, first, I'm going to draw just these, the shadows of these two walls, the wall and its reflection, as if they are completely original objects, not as if the one is the reflection, because again, light doesn't really care. So that would be kind of the shadows that you would get projecting from the single light source. Now, mind you, note those two points that I have right there. That's where the ref where the shadows cross the mirror plane, and actually, you don't even need to draw the second light source. You can actually just use that cool symmetry, those cool symmetry tricks we've been doing, to draw symmetrical shadows going the other direction across the mirror plane. Again, you're noticing where the shadows are crossing the mirror plane, and that gives you an intersection you can play with. Okay, in this case, I'm just I'm just taking that far shadow and extending it as if it would meet the mirror plane, and then bouncing it off of there. Now, here all I'm doing is I'm just doing a little selection of the shadows so you can see them a little more clearly. Now again, these shadows, for the most part, are receiving light from one side but not from the other. And then there's that small little area where they're going to overlap in the center, and I'm going to darken it up right here a little bit. So that one little diamond patch, that's not receiving light from either light source. Now, you can keep going. I, I, you can do this without finding the second light source, but if you did, see I'm taking the lines to the vanishing point, finding where they hit the mirror plane, doubling them back into space. And you could find that second light source, the reflected light source. And that's light source B, and you can do the same thing with the radiation point. Now, if you project all of these things, you should end up with basically the same answers. All right, I hope that helps you guys.